As you know, we are all about culinary literacy. I believe you need to know how to cook the ten poles of culinary wisdom from cultures around the world. I also think you, you want, you need, you desire to be able to replicate your favorite dishes that you eat out in the world at home, and some of them seem sort of overwhelming. You, how do I possibly replicate this classic Chinese dish of scallion noodles. What I've done is create a very simple recipe for you that doesn't forgive any honesty or authenticity. It has all of the hallmarks of the classic Shanghai-style scallion oil noodle with all of the hallmarks of the Japanese izakaya charred scallion and tsukumono Japanese pickle accented noodle. And there's a master sauce within this recipe that you will use on everything. I have a cup and a half, two cups of chopped scallion. I'm going to add my grated ginger. This is grated through a microplane. You can see that juice, very important. We're just gonna lay that in there. Some grapeseed oil, salt, vinegar, and soy sauce. We're just gonna stir this up. So we're gonna refrigerate this for about an hour and let some sort of those flavors come together while we take care of some of our other ingredients. We've charred our scallions and we've charred a serrano chili. The seeds of a serrano are very citrusy and lemony and it's completely delicious. So make sure you throw the whole pepper in there. I'm just gonna add a little more salt. Some people like to turn this into a paste. I like it where it's got a little body to it and it sort of marries with the scallion mixture that's got the ginger in there. And then we combine these two mixtures together. I'm just gonna put in a splash more vinegar. What I'm tasting for is the balance between the oil and the acid. Yeah, this right here is the stuff that takes chilled noodles and exalts them and burnishes them to a beautiful golden sheen and makes them eminently craveable. Before we build our noodles, I got a whole bunch of different pickles. These are all in the Japanese category of what is called sukumono. This is a pickled radish. This is a Oshinko or Takuan. It's a pickled daikon radish that's also been colored. This is right here, this exact same product, sliced really thin and seasoned with a little bit of Hanakatsuo smoked bonito flakes. Shibazuki, my favorite, little tiny eggplant and cucumber that's pickled with shizo leaf, perilla plant, beefsteak plant, um, which is what turns it purple. These are pickled cucumbers. I'm gonna make my portions right in this bowl because I'm not gonna have any leftover scallion sauce. If you wanna use uh, a, a Japanese thin a buckwheat noodle or, you know, heaven forbid, some leftover pasta, Italian pasta, go right ahead. I happen to like Chinese and Japanese noodles for this and this is a classic Chinese thin egg noodle that's just wide enough to hold some of that sauce. These were just cooked to al dente, rinsed in cold water, and we put a tablespoon of grapeseed oil over them. That looks about right to me. And then all I wanna do is just turn these in the sauce. Put an appropriate portion of noodle into each bowl. We don't want an overwhelming amount of noodle. This is a nice light lunch or a noodle dish that's part of a larger meal. Set up the noodle and I, you know, grab a little bit of that scallion mixture. So a little bit of black sesame and just a little bit of the togarashi, which is a chili seasoning. And then we can decorate with our pickles. Right there is a lovely lunch for two people. Chilled noodles, charred ginger scallion sauce, 
Shanghai meets Shibuya. Call it whatever you like. I really should not be eating pasta this early in the day, but I'm going to.